Hello there and welcome back. Today we're making a comic, and by that any comic, a four style strips comic, a four box comic, one, two, three, four type of comic. And you probably have seen this a lot on the internet, but also that same comic is also known as Yonkoma. Uh, I was looking how to name this and apparently it has a name, it's called Yonkoma, meaning four frames in Japanese. Of course it has a Japanese thingy, of course. Uh, at least that, that's what Google says. And back in the days, they used to have, and probably still do, a lot of those comics on newspapers. Right? Right. Okay. But now we see them a lot on the internet, and some of them are very funny, some of them are very dark, others are uh, what well, they are. Uh, I really like this comic um, artist. Uh, she's funny. Sometimes. All the time. So let's get into that. Before we do, Make sure you have a story in mind. I already had one, and I I, I kind of took that from a tweet I did. So based on that tweet, I will try to make a short story in a comic style. That's that's the premise of this. 1080 by 1080 a resolution. You can put this on 300. The quest on your PC, so or her laptop, whatever. Just keep it low for now. Um, the model here can be changed to this one. If you plan to print this as I said, but if you don't, you don't, that's fine. Click create and voila. By default, I believe now click the create an extra layer on top of your background layer. So you can be great, grateful, I guess. <laughs> also here are the brushes, um, your brushes, my brushes, all of our brushes. And we're going to click the rectangular tool, which is over here. And we're going to zoom out with the middle button of mouse. And then we're going to draw a square. And it doesn't look like it's square, it's kind of thick on the side. So how to fix this? Always the control Z is your favorite uh, command. First things first, when you select your rectangular tool, remember that that tool, any tool for that matter, has some two options to it. Where you can find the two options, they're all over here. If you don't see them there, go to set things the lockers and then down down downtown or the there two box no two options two options the two boxes this way a anyway so when you click on the two options the place on which two we have now we are on the rectangular two you're gonna notice well yeah there's more to it wow but you're gonna notice these two here one of them says fill the other one says outline and uh if you I uh, want to change the fill to have no fill, right? And the outline to be the brush. So whichever brush you choose from here, let's just change, let's just change, change this one for example. And if I draw the box again, you can notice that the, the lines, the frames are a little bit different than the previous one because we changed the brush and the brush has different effects to it. So therefore, uh, here the outline says the brush, the brush will be the outline. Okay, okay. Now I don't need that brush. Uh, I'm gonna change that to the default one, I believe is this one. I don't need this. Control Z, say it like her. Okay. <laughs> and then the size, okay. Here is the size of your brush. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can make it uh, average. Uh, now, in this case, because this will be the size of our frame, right? So try 8 maybe? Yeah, 8 is fine. Maybe, maybe 10. Eh, 10 is fine. The other thing, uh, so, so, so far so good, right? The other thing is to make a perfect square. Uh, the way you make perfect shapes in Creature and most other programs is by holding shift on your keyboard and now, well, first press, right? And then hold shift. And ideally, you're gonna have, um, uh, amazing, um, um, shape. Amazing square. Now, how to do the other square? Uh, you might think, oh yeah, I'm gonna click here, hold shift, and then I will hope for the best. But then you kind of realize, it's, well, it's not kind of the same size. It is the same um, frame thickness, but it's not. Anyway, hit just control and see, because here's a better way, okay? You can go to this tool here, and you can select your uh, little box over there, which is on this paint layer number one. 
Uh, we will talk about the list. We can push this back up because we're not gonna use that. And also, as you know, because I am on this two and now the two options changed. But anyway, uh, so we are on this layer where is our frame. And we're not gonna move that for now, but we can duplicate that. Two ways to do that. Either right click on your layer and no duplicate or mask. Now, if you go a little bit further on your right, you're gonna see also a shortcut for that. And the shortcut is Control plus J, basically. If I come over here and I hit Control and J. Oh, wow, there's another layer over here, mighty. And uh, we're gonna press here. We're gonna hold Shift to maintain the, the line. And we're gonna move this like uh, like this, and uh, yeah, and we're gonna hit uh, enter. And they now you have two uh, squares which are the same, but one of them is kind of going outside. So I'm gonna hit control select this layer as well. So we have both of these layers, and right button if you don't know the command and the command for that that I'm looking for is the merge the layers or control and E. And now I have one layer. Now if I click on that layer, if I again press with my mouse and press uh, shift, I can move this on the side. But uh, it's kind of a little bit big, uh, both of these um, squares. So hit the, this side of the, if I grab, right, if I move this right here, for example, uh, you see that I can use the transform tool and I can grab the corners and I can, and resize these. Obviously, I do want to maintain the proportions. And uh, I'm gonna hit, uh, and I'm gonna hit shift, and then I'm gonna move a little bit, and then, then release that, obviously. And now we have a slightly better uh, looking squares. Now, there are two on this layer. We can duplicate again that layer right here. Right. We got this. We got our basic. Uh, for the, the stage that we can work now, we can double click on your layers and we can call this boxes, maybe? I don't know, or frames, or whatever you feel like calling them. As long as you know what this is, you're fine. You can lock your background layer, but if it's by default lock, and you can lock your boxes, yeah. And now we can go to that part of the video where I started the sketching with the, the, the stuff I have. But before I do that, I always make a new layer over here from the plus button. Double click on that layer. Call that layer sketch. Uh, move this down maybe. And you can pick any color for sketching. You can, it can, it can be black or whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, now notice this that here. You have plenty of brushes to choose from. Uh, choose the brush that you uh, feel mo most comfortable, uh, which is uh, if you uh, obviously press B or select it over here, you can draw. And obviously, I'm using my mouse right now because I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, but from the size, you can increase the size and you can switch here with the eraser. If you want to have quick access to the eraser, you can press E. Now it's deselected. If I press E again, it will be selected again. So if I draw something and then I press E, and then wow, I'm deleting that. Look at me, I'm a professional. The other cool shortcut that you would like to know is if you press, if I draw a smiley face. Obviously, I'm not drawing now. <laughs> if I draw a smiley face, look at that. It looks like an alien. Woo! I don't know what that is. Anyway, if I press M, you will see that this kind of flips the canvas and it helps you to see the imperfections of your amazing, amazing, amazing is a drawing right here, right now. And you can fix that and you can press M again and <laughs> look again. The other cool thing that you can know is if, if you press 4, you, you rotate your canvas on the left. If you press 6, you gonna rotate your canvas on the right. And if you feel lost, press 5 and you're good to go. So after we're done with the sketches and everything, um, I did that on a couple of layers, by the way. Um, and then I merged everything together because I, what I did, I, I copied some of the characters. I copied the, the shower, uh, thing, the, the, the shower cabin. Um, and I just pasted it in the boxes and I just changed the uh, extra elements I had to. And then I had everything on one layer. Same thing with the characters, right? I copied the head and, 
uh, you know, so I didn't want to control <laughs> attention to control it again. But I did make the adjustments. And at the end of the day, I merged everything into one layer. I call that layer stretch. And I load the equestrian that layer, and the rest is pretty, pretty straightforward. What I did do is uh, I tried again, made a new layer on top, right? And I first tried to draw the segment elements uh, as a shower, um, the shower cabin, and uh, you know, I tried to uh, save myself some time. Uh, unfortunately, recently, I don't know why, the program I'm using, Krita, I think it's the PC, I don't know. It's, it has been crashing, uh, and that kind of slowed my work, but, um, that's not a big deal, right? It does really push you off, uh, of your work zone, if you will. But other than that, I'm kind of happy with the drawings. I, I feel like the bubbles, because I also did, uh, the, the text bubbles. Uh, alongside with the drawings, maybe maybe they were not uh, necessary to be that big or whatever. Uh, I don't know uh, because um, I decided to do the text on a separate layer first. I decided to draw to write not to draw <laughs> draw a text. Yes, no. Um, I decided to write the text, but um, yeah, I, I gave up on that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can either like write the text yourself or use the tool. Uh, uh in for that and uh, i think uh, here after, uh, you can see the file of course but um before you start drawing a sketch in your amazing idea make sure your text your story is good i don't think mine is that good but uh, after everything was done you know i i moved the sketch layer i i hide the sketch layer uh, uh um i decided to put some color ish sort of thing by using the fill too and that's that and that's my final amazing funny funny i say funny comic it's funny laugh now okay <laughs> now when i look at my comic uh i feel like the there's too much text when i look at other people's comics um i think it's good to you know like um see what you have done wrong right like look back and see okay how did i end up here and when i look at my comic right now i feel like i i feel like there's too much text right and i did post that on on uh, twitter and i got three likes oh my god crazy right so i <laughs> That's not basically equivalent to oh my god, this is funny. Obviously not, but I feel like I, I could have done better maybe with less text on the comic because if you see other comics in that style, they have less text and they they rather um, try to shorten their story and and to have the punchline maybe at the end. Um, my hair does do that. <laughs> so. I still think it's funny. I still think that it could be better now. Um, most of those type of comics are very simple, very, very clean as well. They don't have much text, and also they don't have many characters or many like uh, background um, elements in the back. And I think that's also good to know to myself, maybe to you. Uh, but I think it was funny uh, if, and I went back in to kind of changing the text a little bit and I, in, in, in the end of the day I got this and I think it's better than the first thing even though the text didn't change much of the drawings and stuff uh Krita does have a um text too it's a bit wonky though so keep that in mind um so you have to play around the, te the text too or you can write it yourself it's good to do that though uh, if you're gonna write the, the text on the separate layer um like work around the layers use them into your advantage and then you, you're gonna get something like this or maybe better hopefully better and funny uh but yeah Krita does give you the options the, the, the tools to create something that uh, you can share with the rest of the world and that's 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 what we're gonna do we're gonna share this with the rest of the world um and any feedback that you're gonna get from this is valuable uh, but don't get that to get to your head right um positive or negative just don't do it. anyway i hope you enjoyed this um i hope you get the information you, you could cook from this video and i hope you got the technical stuff as well and you know share your comments in the 
in the comments down down below. I can't uh, if you can um, or share it, share share them with the world and see how people react to your amazing comic because you know they're, they're fun. Like they 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 can be fun. So you know do do that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Until then, uh, do all the stuff that, that the YouTubers say, like clicking buttons and all that. And I <laughs> and I will probably see you in the next one. As I said, I keep repeating myself. I've learned it. I've learned it. Bye. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Bye. Bye.